almost a year ago to the day on March 16th, I had a massive stroke. And there is no question in my mind that Dr. Nokera saved my life. At the time, Mardine Mitchell did not know the name of the doctor who performed the miracle that allowed her to walk out of the hospital only five days after suffering a stroke. She had no clear memory of what transpired when she arrived at Grady. When I woke up, Dawn, my daughter, said, Mom, you told the surgeon who operated on you you didn't have a stroke. <laughs> and she thought I was just being my stubborn self, but he laughed and said, no, very common for right side stroke patients not to know they've had a stroke. I asked my daughter, I said, who is my doctor? And she said, well, I couldn't remember his name, but he had mesmerizing eyes. <laughs> Dr. Raul Nogueira is a native of Brazil, where he did his initial medical training in his home country. He then came to the U.S. to train in neurology. As I was going through medical school, I have always been fascinated by uh, the brain. And, uh, it turned out that as I was close to graduate, this new field of uh, interventional neurology uh, started to emerge as something very promising. And uh, here I am. <laughs> the road to Grady took Dr. Nogueira from Brazil to Miami, and then to Massachusetts General, where he completed his training through a residency and fellowship at Harvard, and then worked for five years. He was recruited by the Marcus Stroke and Neuroscience Center at Grady before it opened its doors to patients. He could have chosen to practice anywhere in the country, but he chose Grady, where he is the director of the Neuroendovascular Division. When I came here, I just felt the energy of the place. Uh, the facilities were outstanding. Atlanta was a unique opportunity given the, the high prevalence of stroke in this area. Great is a very special place. It's a place where you can deliver exceptional care without any exceptions. Patients like Mardine Mitchell are most certainly grateful that Dr. Noguera chose to bring his talents to Grady. He worked with me with the medications and what I needed and listened and, and um, I, I felt he was my team leader. He's an earth angel. I'm sure the angels are working through him, but in addition to his skills. Tracy Stedman also credits Dr. Noguera with saving her life. It happened in the middle of the night, so I was like, didn't know what was gonna happen. When I came into the hospital, the doctor came in and he said, we have 20 minutes to make a decision. And um, as I was listening to him, I noticed that he had great confidence, he had great faith, and he believed in what he was doing. And he said, there will, will be risk, but he said, I can do it. Tracy Stedman took a leap of faith. And three and a half years later, she credits Dr. Noguera with not only saving her life, but transforming it as well. And at that moment, when I trusted him, and after everything, after I had the procedure and everything, it changed my life. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Noguera, and Grady Hospital, and the Marcus Stroke and Neuroscience Center. Yes, I love you.